Let me show you how I made this vintage inspired artwork. I first started by tracing out the mat. This just makes sure that what I paint will be visible once I put it inside the mat. All the paints and supplies that I'm using I got from Hobby Lobby, but I did link some similar ones in my Amazon storefront for you. I started off by painting a background for my florals. I chose this really deep blue color that I mixed up because the frame that I wanted to use has a blue pinstripe around it and I thought that it would look really nice inside the frame. I've never painted anything like this before. The only painting that I've done um, that is hanging in my house is some shapes that I have next to my front door. So this is a learning process for me. Essentially what I'm doing is just creating large C shapes and kind of using my finger with some water to push the paint into all of the other paint so it kind of mixes and the colors blend really well. When it comes to painting flowers, I've learned that less paint is more. Looking back on this footage, I liked the way it looked before I added all this white and the white kind of makes it look like a carnation instead of a rose. To make these leaf shapes, I just made two C's coming together at a point and then filled them in. I decided to add some other little flowers around the ones I had already painted to make them look like they were just starting to open up. Once I was happy, I let the paint dry and then it was time to frame it. I purchased this frame from Goodwill for $3.49 several months ago and thought that it would be perfect in our room. To secure the painting to the mat, I just used a little bit of tape and then put the back on, put the little tabs down, and this is how it turned out. I really like how it looks, so let's hang it up. There are so many ways to hang up a picture, but I'm just going to eyeball it for now. Let me know in the comments if this is something that you would try to make for your house, and don't forget to share this video with a friend so that they can see how I made this vintage-inspired artwork.